Uh, you know, tough day. Uh, give Indiana and their coaches and players a lot of credit. They did a great job. Uh, made it hard on us to run things offensively. And, uh, you know, obviously they executed really well on the offensive end. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm proud of our team. Uh, we were, you know, um, a little, you know, shorthanded by a really good player in Kayla Jones, and, and I'm proud of the way our kids fought. We had people playing play in some spots probably they hadn't played all year, but uh, I was proud of the way they competed. I think we were down 14 or so and uh, came back, made it a two-point game, and, um, you know, I have – I regret I messed up and called the timeout there uh, with about 13 seconds left and uh, shouldn't have done that. Should have saved that. We maybe would have got a little bit better look that last possession. So, uh, but I'm proud of our players and and uh, all they've done this year and all they've gone through. And um, I'm proud of them today, especially to uh, the way they competed and fought and, and got back in the game. So, um, you know, we're going to get over the hump. We, we've got to get over the hump. So uh, got to keep putting ourselves in this position and then hopefully uh, close the deal and take advantage of it. All right, we'll now go to questions. If you have a question, please use the raise hand function. We'll start out with Carter Hill from fifth quarter. Carter, you can unmute yourself and ask a question. Yeah, Coach, uh, Carter Hill with fifth quarter. Congratulations on a fantastic season. Uh, you had talked about you regretted calling that timeout. Uh, what was kind of your thought process in the moment when you were calling that timeout with 13 seconds remaining? Well, again, I messed up. You know, I was trying to get our defensive uh, line, but, you know, if I would have waited a second, they would have used the timeout to advance it, and, and I could have saved ours. So, um, you know, again, just a mistake, and uh, I regret. All right, we'll next go to Steve Marjorie from Associated Press. Steve, you can unmute yourself. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you just what changed there in the last three minutes. All of a sudden, you were able to get things going, cut a 10-point deficit down to two. Just what were you able to turn up to get that rally there down the stretch? Yeah, you know, we tried to turn up the heat a little bit, and we went to a zone for a few minutes, and, uh, you know, I thought thought that was fairly effective. They were just beating us off the dribble so bad. I mean, they were attacking us and getting to the rim, and, so I uh, felt like we had to try to do something different, just even though we don't play a lot of zone. Um, but I thought it was pretty effective. And then then we just tried to turn up the pressure a little bit um, there in the last couple of minutes and um, try to, you know, try to make it tough for them to reverse the ball and, and that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, again, like I said, we had a hodgepodge lineup out there, uh, had to play four guards quite a bit. And... Uh, um, you know, again, just uh, proud of our kids and the way they tried to fight through that. All right, we'll next go to Brett Freelander with North State Journal. Yes, um, Wes, what was the uh, what was the plan on the last possession? I we saw what happened. What did you want to happen? Well, we were hoping uh, we set a flat pick on the ball there, and we were hoping we could maybe, you know, kick it. Um, either to the wing or maybe even kick it back to Elisa. Obviously, Elisa shoots about 42% from three, and so we were hoping if both defenders kind of tried to stop the drive that we could uh, kick it back for the three there. But obviously, uh, we didn't, uh, didn't, weren't able to get that done. What went wrong on that play then? <laughs> uh, like I said, we, uh, you know, didn't probably uh, – would have liked to probably – not got quite as deep as we did and, and maybe been able to hit Elisa a little sooner. Uh, but uh, again, got to give Indiana credit. They did a great job of defending it. And, uh, you know, that's where, again, if we'd had a timeout, we could have advanced the ball. And, you know, I'm always a big advocate of saving your timeouts and, and have that ability to advance it and, and to be able to run a set uh, to get a three or whatever. And, um, you know, again, I, I messed up. Thank you, and kudos on a great season. Thanks. All right, we'll next go to Andrew Snitker from Inside Pack Sports. You can unmute yourself. Wes, 
you had a I, one of the things with the Kayla Jones in, injury. You ended up having quite a few freshmen get some playing time in this tournament, get some experience, and even other younger players like Jakia and Jada. With this being their first NCAA tournament, how much do you think it will benefit all those young players in the program going forward for them to have that experience under their belt? I'll be honest; it's hard to think about that right now. You know, it's hard to get here, and uh, it's hard to get in this position and. Uh, you know, so they've worked extremely hard all year and been very consistent, um, you know, with their effort and performance, not in, not out. So uh, it's hard to right now think about that. Um, you know, again, I'm proud of proud of them, the way they fought, uh, you know, because we did have players out of position and that sort of thing and, and uh, just trying to piece it together a little bit. You know, Kayla Jones, first team all ACC, a, a four-year senior and, um, you know, somebody that we rely on heavily. Um, and again, without her in there, uh, Jada Boyd, unfortunately, got in some foul trouble and uh, that hurt us there as far as uh, what we'd have liked to have done. Um, but, you know, again, no excuses. Indiana did a great job. They deserve to win. And and uh, we got to try to make sure we're better suited in the future to, to handle an injury like that. All right, we'll next go to Justin Williams. Justin, you can unmute yourself. Coach, how frustrating is it to lose a close game like that when you outshoot Indiana, particularly from behind the three-point line, but then you'll, you look at the turnover margin, 17 to nine, and you're a team that doesn't turn over the ball typically like that, so what went wrong there? Yeah, well, like I said you got to give them a lot of credit. They uh, they did a great job of making it difficult. Uh, they got in the passing lane some, and and they did a really good job of helping on penetration, helping on the post. You know, uh, you know, I know Elisa got swarmed quite a bit when she got the ball in there, and uh, you know she had she had a few turnovers from from the way they were doubling and helping on her, uh, and then also you know not so much second half, first half we really. Uh, we didn't have a single offensive rebound in the first half. Actually, we didn't have a we didn't go get an offensive rebound the entire game, which is amazing. We have three team offensive rebounds, so uh, you know that tells a story too. We weren't able to get to the glass and and get an extra look or two. So Indiana just played a very they you know they took care of the ball better. They did a better job on the boards, and consequently, even though we maybe shot a little better. Uh, they got more opportunities and, and took advantage of that. All right, we'll next go to World Exposure Report. You can unmute yourself. Coach, when you get some perspective, what do you think you'll think about this particular team and the season in particular? Well, like I said, they just they fought. You know, there was a lot of games similar today where we fell behind and and had to battle and find a way to to come back and get a win. And, uh, you know, today, like I said, 14 down and a um, little bit of, you know, a little bit different lineup than what we were used to. And they still found a way to get back in the game. You know, we had a shot. And, uh, you know, even that last possession, like I said, I'm, you know, I'm uh, very, uh, very heartbroken that I, I didn't do a better job in handling that uh, timeout situation. So, um, you know, but the players fought their guts out all season long and, you know, with social injustice issues, with COVID, with, with all the things going on, uh, they were just amazing. And, uh, like I said, proud of the way they've battled all year through everything and, uh, just sorry we couldn't have, uh, overcome it one more time. All right. Any other final questions? If you do, use your raise hand function. All right, coach, thank you so much for your time today. Congrats on a great Thank season. You. Thank you.